Welcome to the Grow My Cleaning Company podcast with your host, Mike Campion. If you are passionate about the cleaning industry, you are in the right place. Love what you hear? Spread the word and tell the cleaning world this is the place to be. Want more? Check out www.growmycleaningcompany.com for free online video trainings, free ebook downloads, free blog posts, and of course, all the podcast episodes. Everything you need to grow your cleaning company is at www.growmycleaningcompany.com. And now, on with the show. Welcome to the Grow My Cleaning Company podcast, where I coach owners of cleaning companies every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on anything and everything related to building and growing cleaning companies. If you are committed to growing your cleaning company, go to www.growmycleaningcompany.com and get everything you need to create the cleaning company you've always wanted. If you'd like to be a guest on the show, you can reach out to our producer, Natalie, at nat at growmycleaningcompany.com or give us a call at 480-648-5149 to apply on the show, leave your questions or comments. I'm excited to talk to you. Today, we are chatting with Lewis Young for Veritas Cleaning Company. Verit or Veriest serves the Washington, D.C. area for residential cleaning service. If you want to reach out to Lewis and his team, you can get a hold of them at www.veriestcleaningco.com. V-E-R-I-E-S-T cleaningco.com. Lewis, say hello to Cleaning Nation. Hello, guys. How's it going today? So glad to have you on the show. Tell us a little bit about how you got in the business, my friend. Uh, well, um, I've been working in the cleaning industry, uh, not just on the um, cleaning residential homes. I did like detail work, uh, janitorial work. I worked at a couple hotels and, uh, I just love cleaning and I just thought, and I also used to work for the big company, uh, Handy, Handy. Um, I was on their platform and I also worked for homes. So I did a lot of cleaning, um, you know, in my days, I'm only 34 years old, so I'm still quite young. I'm still learning. Uh, and it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing to be in. Okay, so how long have you uh, been on your own? Uh, well, uh, 2014, I started it up um, with uh, just the knowledge of knowing how to clean so good and so well. Um, but uh, quite a few, uh, let's say, uh, quite a few things didn't happen as I thought it would as far as, you know, I didn't know how how, you know, how much you need to market and, you know, when you, especially when you're on the internet and just trying to get the word out there. I just didn't know that it was such a hassle, you know, and, uh, and, I, and I put it on pause and it's just two, uh, 2015, I, I said, well, I'm gonna give it another shot and things started working out. Okay. And just a little. So is it just you or are you doing, uh, all the cleaning yourself? Do you have a staff? What's, what stage are you at? Well, right now, um, I'm still out there cleaning. Like I said, I'm, I'm, it's a brand new startup. I'm still out there cleaning majority of the homes. And I have like five other employers uh, who's, who's out there cleaning too as well. Okay. Um, great. Well, congratulations on where you've got so far. What can I do to help you today, my friend? I mean, it can it can be a million things. I mean, it can be like because, um, like I said, uh, SEO uh, things like uh, you know, just try, trying to reach different people because uh, it's quite hard when you deal, especially in Washington D.C. in the tri-state area of Washington D.C. It's so much competition out here. It's, it's like everybody is opening up a cleaning business, you know, every day out here, and and it's it's, it's it's crazy because it's like a lot of competition, you know. And um, the only way to to you know, I I think you know the only way that um you actually can can be you know in the race is is if you're on the front page of Google, <laughs> you know. Okay, so is that what you'd like to talk about today? How to get uh how to get ranked on the search engines? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay, perfect. Uh, and you, you mentioned Google a couple times, so I'll give you the short answer and then the long answer. Um, there's only one way to get ranked on the first page of Google immediately, um, but the good thing is it's a guaranteed way to do that, and that's called paid traffic <laughs> with Google AdWords. So um, Google does put their AdWords or their paid traffic first and foremost. So if you want to be 
uh, at the top of the first page, guaranteed every time. Set up mm-hmm. a Google AdWords account, and that will happen. Um, the tricky thing with that is you can really kind of lose your shirt pretty quick if you don't know what you're doing uh, with paid traffic. So it can be a huge, huge get, but um, it can also be a big money pit. So I wouldn't recommend jumping into that without some sort of expert help. I think I've had a couple experts on the show. So if you haven't checked those out yet, I would, because again, that's the only way to absolutely guarantee being on the first page of Google um, right. you know, all the time, every time. But that said, um, I'm assuming what you'd wanted, what you wanted to hear about, uh, is how to do cert, uh, organic traffic and optimize your online presence to get Google to, uh, send the traffic for free. Is that, you know, I put words in your mouth or is that what you're looking for? No, that's you hit it. You hit it right on the spot. That's that's exactly. Okay, cool. Um, so let's talk about. And just so you know, my kind of two cents or feedback or coaching is I like a mixture of both. Right? I don't. You know, a lot of the paid gurus will tell you, "Oh my gosh, AdWords is the only way to go," and and go over all the weaknesses in organic traffic and vice versa. A lot of the organic guys are like, "Oh." You know, you don't. You know, you're just renting traffic when you blah blah blah. So everybody's got their own opinion, and my two cents is I like doing both. Um, neither is perfect. So I'll give you. Let me before we hit the the uh, organic traffic, which I'll jump in with you for a little bit. Let me just give you a quick overview of when to use each. Right. So what I like is if you've got someone that you trust that knows how to do paid, I'd start with that because you're going to get instant. It's like a faucet. You turn it on, and the traffic comes. Um, you turn mm-hmm. it off, it goes. So the benef- the only disbenefit of paid traffic is you got to pay, and it can be expensive. And if you don't know how to get a landing page and convert your traffic and collect email addresses and actually turn that traffic into paid um, clients, you can really lose money. So the paid part's the only negative. The positive is because it is paid, you can turn it off and on. You can turn it up and down. It's guaranteed. You don't have to, you know, Google's and Bing and all those people are always changing their rules. So you don't have to kind of do your dance and try and appease them. Um, you uh-huh. just give write a check. So that's kind of the good and the bad with uh, Google is, or with paid is you definitely can be on the front page. Um, you don't have to dance. You don't have to worry about it. It doesn't take time. Um, you can turn it up off and on. You can turn it up and down if, you know, by kind of making a bigger or smaller daily budget. The bad news is it's, it's very expensive and oftentimes prohibitively expensive. So that's that. The search engine i'll give you the good and bad on that before we jump in so it doesn't sound like oh wow just you know do some optimization and be rich um the good Mm -hmm. news is it's free i shouldn't say it's free because it does cost money to create content and do all the things that you need to do either you have to do that personally lewis or you have to pay somebody either way it's going to cost you money because if you're uh, optimizing your site you are not uh, working on your business and if you're paying someone obviously it's money so it costs differently um the good news is once you've got it up it keeps coming, right? With the paid traffic, as soon as you stop writing a check, the traffic stops coming. With search engine optimization, that's not the case. Uh, you build the traffic, you can stop working, and it'll stay for months, sometimes years, depending on the industry and how often Google changes the rules. Uh, you can get that traffic once you pay for it once. It'll just keep coming. So that's kind of the benefit of search of uh, organic traffic, but it does take a little longer, right? You might start now and not start seeing results for two or three or four months uh, on organic. So it takes a little longer. Does that all make sense? Do you have any questions before we jump in on how to optimize? Yeah, well, um, I, I read into it a little bit and it seemed like a forever story about SEO. Um, I, I read into it a little bit for, for some months and months and months. And, uh, I, I created the web page. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I created the web page and, um, the host is uh, GoDaddy, and uh, they have a tool in there where, you know, it, you know where they uh, grab little keywords and stuff, things of that nature. You, um, you know, you put in put like the heading and 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 all that. So I did as much as I could, but um, I got someone else to look over the website, and it says it's a pretty good website. And you're not lying. Uh, you know, when you say three or four months, it could be sometimes take the six to eight months. I think I'm on my eighth month, um, but during those eight months, I was learning, and um, I was still kind of switching up the website, and Google doesn't like that, I guess, you know, you keep switching up, you know, content in your website, so I finally did it one last time, and got someone to look at it, and they said it was perfect, just leave it as it is, and and, and, and in a couple more months, things just started growing for me. 
All right. Well, let me tell you about how to actually do it right because it should not take eight months. Um, and there's it sounds like you missed a lot of honestly quite crucial uh, foundational points. So just for Cleaning Nation and for you as well, Lewis, let's kind of just do a foundation of how this is supposed to look. Um, a lot of people, super old school, are kind of stuck on and used to what's called meta tags and key and um, headings and um, that sort of stuff. And Google used to take big, really used to kind of look a lot at those. And they're really, those aren't, those aren't carrying as much weight, so to speak, as they used to. So first of all, you oh. got to understand Google's going to look at your entire online presence. So it's not just your website. They're going to look, believe it or not, do you have a Facebook account? Where, what sites are linking into your website? What sites are linking out to your website? And if you link out oh, to your okay. Twitter account, your Facebook account, your LinkedIn account, and um, you know that shows that you're a real company. So the good thing and kind of the secret weapon for owners of cleaning companies, which is awesome because search honestly organic search uh, traffic is getting harder and harder and more and more competitive and expensive um yeah. except for in one area and that's where we can really crush it as owners of cleaning companies and that is local search if you go to search uh, right now and again we're uh may 2016 if you search for anything the first couple ads are going to be paid ads which we talked about how to get on there right up <laughs> right below that's going to be what's called the three pack and that's the local listing. So if you search for a restaurant, it's going to show you restaurants. If you search for a cleaning company, it's going to show you cleaning companies. Um, that's uh, right now the most prized real estate that's free on Google's page. And that's what we want to get you on. The way to get a local listing is you've got to go, oddly enough, to Google and, and register your business. And how you do that is you tell them, here's where I'm at. You give them a physical address. Um, they will send – it doesn't cost you anything – they will send mm -hmm. you a card in the mail, postcard with a PIN number. You put that PIN number in, and now you've verified that that is your business and your address. Have you taken that step yet, Lewis? Because that's that's the first thing you got to do. Yes, sir. I, I did that with Google. Okay. Um, so yeah. yeah, Cleaning Nation. That you, that's that's the th first thing you start, and now you're eligible to be found on the local search engine, which is really what you want to be. After you've done that, it's a matter of reinforcing to Google that that is where your business actually is. So you're going to want to do what's called citations, which just means other websites uh, referring to your name and address properly. So the Better Business Bureau, okay. the Chamber of Commerce, the, um, any, you know, the ISSA, any associations you're members of, you want to make sure as many places online as possible, you have your name with your exact address. It has to be perfect. It can't be you know, one says one two three West Main Street. One two, the other one says one two three W dot Main Street. They all have to be exactly mm -hmm. the same. Those, those are called citations. So all that's doing, and you can do that on Google and Facebook and Twitter and Angie's List and Yelp and anywhere you want. But you want lots of places mm -hmm. on the internet saying this is a legitimate business. It's really at that address, and this is where you can find them. That's the first thing. It'll start getting Google. Uh, oh, we should start giving these guys um, traffic. The second thing you want to do is get reviews, um, ideally five or more. Once you get over five reviews, uh, when you look at that three pack, you'll notice they'll say how many reviews they have. And if it's less than five, it'll just say four reviews, three reviews, no reviews. If it's more than five, it'll actually show in bright yellow or orange how many stars you have, which is what you want. It draws the eye. That can make a huge difference. So that's the second thing you're going to do. Uh, next, okay. and I, I don't want to go go too deep because this is a subject that you could write, you know, do books on, and I think I, I actually I've got a whole course on it. But I'm, I'll give you the best I can on the time that we have. The big thing you're going to do is your keyword search. So when you go to Google, you can sign up for a free, an AdWords account for free. You don't have to mm -hmm. buy any traffic yet, and in that will be a keyword tool. That keyword tool doesn't cost anything with a free AdWords account. You can start finding what people are searching for in your area. That's the big thing because people always say, I want my business to be on the front page of Google. But what they don't realize is there is no such thing. The only thing on the front page of Google is Google. It's the little box. It's the Google in the box that says search. So what, okay. you, what you're really saying is I would like to show up on the first page of a specific keyword search for Google, right? Or ideally multiple keyword searches for Google. So you use that keyword tool to find out what people are searching in your in your area, right? So you'll type in residential cleaning, uh, Washington, D.C., maid service, Washington, D.C., best maid service, how to hire maid service, and it will actually start giving you – you'll type in the four or five that you think people are searching for, and it'll give you dozens if not hundreds of keywords as suggestions, right? And the reason you're doing that is you want to find out what keywords you want to rank for. So you want to find out, A, what keywords to rank for, and B, 
how many searches are happening a month and Google will tell you that. Um, and one trick is if you're just new, I don't know what Ver, Ver, Veritas, your, the, the, your name of your, your business is confusing. I would pick the, the biggest keyword that's got the most search and make that your, your, um, your name, right? Best, you know, if, if a lot of people are searching best cleaning company, in Washington, DC, for crying out loud, make your name best cleaning service, Washington, DC.com, okay. right? Or, or even okay. if you don't make that your company name, make that your domain, buy that domain when possible. Um, because that does help when Google, when I search, who's the best, uh, cleaner in Washington, DC, and you own www.bestcleaner in Washington, DC, that tells Google, Hey, this is a good, this is the right spot. It's right in the domain. It's called the EMD or EDM an exact okay. domain match. Um, so you want to try and do that. So again, the steps are, uh, and we'll get moving on cause I don't want to get too deep into this thing, but the steps are first and foremost, you've got to register with, with Google. Uh, as a physical mm -hmm. address. And the way you do that is you go to Google. You can Google how to do this. You get them to send you uh, the postcard, which is free. You add your pin. You, you, that postcard will have a pin number. You put in the pin number. Your address is now verified. Step two is you want to have as many places on the internet uh, hooking you up with that same address. So Google sees it's not just you saying you're there. Lots of other people are saying that you're there. That makes them feel comfortable sending traffic because they know you're a real business. Step three is to get uh, reviews because not only are a lot of people saying that you're actually at that address, but lots of people are giving you reviews at that address. So that's a lot of signs to Google that you're legitimate. Last, you want to do a keyword search and find all the keywords that you can rank for, and then you start creating pages and content for those things, right? Um, so you start, uh, you know, if one of the things you want to do is uh, best maid service, Washington, D.C., then you would write a page of content on best maid service in Washington, D.C. If another one is, uh, you know, f finding a cleaning company, then you write a whole page on finding a cleaning company. You're trying to get each page to um, rank for its own keyword, right? So your whole website's oh. not trying to rank for a keyword. E one page is trying to work rank for one keyword. So you might have 100 keywords and 100 pages. Each one of those gives you another opportunity to rank on Google. So I've given you, I mean, this is so much so fast, but <laughs> I try to pack these podcasts full of value. Uh, so that's what I've got. Any questions or thoughts before we move on to lightning round? Uh, no, it's, it's actually informative information. I love it. Um, I did, some of the things I really didn't know, um, as far as like, you know, as far as the keywords for each page of your uh, website content, I, I didn't, I just didn't know. Well, that's, that's why I am here and Cleaning Nation exists is to help you guys um, get better, faster, all that sort of stuff. And for anyone listening, um, the, I don't know how long this product will be available, but I've just got a million dollar client attraction system. Uh, there's a webinar that's how to get a, uh, an avalanche of customers to your, uh, to, to come to you without uh, low balling or cold calling. It's awesome. That webinar is for free. Go to growmycleaningcompany.com. I dive in a lot deeper on a lot of these subjects in, in there. So those are some other resources to get. All right. That said, let's hit the lightning round, Lewis. I'm going to ask you some questions, give you the opportunity to give back to Cleaning Nation. Question number one, what is the best piece of advice you've ever received? Uh, I was actually in Uber and, and, um, the Uber guy was, was such a great guy. And, uh, he was telling me, uh, things like, uh, you want to be different. You want to stand out from other cleaning companies. You want to just try to find out what other cleaning companies are not doing and try to, you know, uh, you know, do that with your cleaning company. And one of the things that he mentioned, um, was something such as when you go at, go to a client's home. Uh, you want to be able, you want to, you know, like change the vacuum bag, you know, and at the front door, make sure the customer sees you doing it, you know, you know, things of that nature. And I thought about it and it just tells a client a lot about how much you respect their home, you know, just not changing a, a vacuum bag inside their home, you know, and, uh, you know, putting slip, uh, putting slippers on, uh, before you, you know, um, going into someone's home. And I thought that was kind of like the best advice. That someone could ever give me. Yeah, that's I'm telling you, details matter. That guy knows what he's talking about. Well said. Thanks for sharing that, Lewis. All right, second question. What's the biggest mistake you've made in the cleaning business that we can learn from? Uh I, I don't think I have made a mistake yet. Um, but I'm quite sure <laughs> I don't want to, but I, I don't think I have made a mistake yet. 
I can assure you you have. You just haven't discovered it yet. So when you get yeah, it, call us back yeah. and give us an update. <laughs> All right, third question. What's one idea Cleaning Nation can put into practice today that will make their business or their lives better? That, that you guys can... Uh... Just one yeah, idea that, that listeners can 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 put into practice and improve their lives with. Um, gee, I would say uh, just don't be afraid of trying anything new. You know, um, that's that's about it. Okay, beautiful. You know, don't trip. don't be afraid to try anything new. I love it. Um, Lewis, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for sharing your passion and your desire to grow. I appreciate you. I know the Cleaning Nation appreciates you. If you want to check out Lewis's show notes page and discover everything you need to grow your cleaning company, go to www.growmycleaningcompany.com. Leave your questions, your comments, your rude remarks. I will see you there. Congratulations. You are now 16% smarter. Still can't get enough cleaning goodness? Go to www.growmycleaningcompany.com for more of the good stuff. Ever want to be rich and famous? Owners of cleaning companies as well as industry experts can apply to be featured on the show by emailing our producer Natalie at support at growmycleaningcompany.com. Until then, don't miss out on all the latest cleaning industry loving at www.growmycleaningcompany.com. Check it out now.